Sketches of Leonardo da Vinci, motifs from the works of Jules Verne, and many portraits of Igor Sikorsky. This is the studio of sculptor Volodymyr Jurovel. He approached the creation of the monument to the famous aircraft designer by rereading three biographies of Sikorsky. Before starting the work, I study and analyze. I have the same approach for any type of work. Nobody asked me to read this book. I collected various materials by myself to get into the top 10 of the best sculptors, ideologically, conceptually, stylistically. You need to understand what kind of person you are depicting. Working on the monument took roughly six months. Volodymyr provided his customer with three sketches, two in full height and one bust. They agreed on a sculpture of a young Sikorsky with a helicopter in his hands. Sikorsky is a man of heaven, and I wanted to do him justice. The monument of the aircraft designer has already started being built on the Kiev airport grounds. A private investor has already allocated money to the monument. Not so long ago this airport was renamed, and now its full name is Igor Sikorsky, Kiev International Airport, so it's logical to install the sculpture here. The plinth is already in the process of being built with granite. It will consist of four tiers. On the plinth itself, continents and islands of bronze will be depicted. And on top there will be a bronze figure. The total height of the monument with the pedestal is 7 meters and 20 centimeters. The massive sculpture will be held by one point of support. Part of the figure will move. The unique construction was developed in cooperation with a design engineer. It will be a kinetic sculpture. The helicopter on top of it will move from wind blasts. See how windy it is. The monument is created by using modern technology such as 3D printing. Using these technologies, we are able to speed up the technical process considerably. Typically, it takes a lot of time to enlarge manually. But like this, we are able to do it not within six, but three months. The minimum guarantee for the sculpture is 200 years, but Volodymyr is convinced that the statue will outlast this date. This metal figure is already galvanized, and it will also be flooded with cannon lard, in the same way that military equipment is preserved, so it avoids corrosion. They are planning to complete the installation of the monument before the end of the month, and the opening is going to coincide with Ukrainian Aviation Day. This year, the holiday falls on August 31st. Reported by Anna Romanovska, UATV.